YouTube and all Repairman Jack fans. My name is Nathan. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to my channel. This is my short spoiler-free review video for Night World, the last book in the Repairman Jack series and also the last book in the Adversary Cycle. So I got there. I got to the last book. Um, there's a lot of interesting things that I want to say with this book. And before I get into that, then I'll basically... Um, give kind of a sense of where I'm at with this project. So if you're new to this, I've been reading through all of the books in the Repairman Jack series, and it does end with Night World, but not really, because I didn't, I started with The Tomb, and that's the first book in the series, but then since Night World was published, Wilson then published um, the, the early years trilogy. Well, I guess he published before this, the Young Adult trilogy, so I haven't read those books yet and done videos on them yet, but I will. And he also posted, uh, he or he published three books, the their crime thrillers, um, Fear City, Cold City, and I can never remember the, the name of the third one. But uh, those ones are about Jack before the tomb. So those ones I haven't read yet. So there's still more Repairman Jack stuff to come on the channel. And then there's also Scarlet Redux, which is a graphic novel, and I have not read that yet. I have ordered it, but it has not arrived. So there's at least seven more Repairman Jack um, books that I'm going to be getting to on the channel. So I'm not finished with this, but it's the end, sort of. As far as the chronology of the series, then we're at the end. Let me read the, uh, the cover copy, so inside the, the front cover here. And then I'll give you a few thoughts and everything else I'm going to save for my longer discussion video where I post two videos on each book. And so the longer discussion one has got lots of spoilers. The end of the world begins at dawn when the sun rises later than it should. Then the holes appear. The first forms in Central Park within sight of an apartment where Repairman Jack and a man as old as time watch with growing dread. Gaping holes, bottomless and empty until sundown when the first unearthly hungry creatures appear. Night World brings F. Paul Wilson's adversary cycle and Repairman Jack saga to an apocalyptic finale as Jack and Glaken search the secret history to gather a ragtag army for a last stand against the otherness and a hideously transformed Rosalem. So, Night World, um, it's, it's an interesting book in part because it was first published in 1993, so I've got the trade paperback edition of that, but this is before Wilson wrote the Repairman Jack series. So he had already written The Tomb, but he had not written all of the other, what ends up being, I guess, 14 other books in the series. And now there's even more than that. Um, but he had not written the other books in the series. And so Jack does not play as prominent a role in Night World in the original edition from 1993 as he does in the revised edition, which is from 2012. So there's still, I've, I haven't read the original edition um, entirely, but I did go through to some degree of, of detail to try to figure out what some of the changes are. And I do plan on reading the original edition as well and probably posting a video for it when I get to the adversary cycle videos that I'll be doing. Um, but all of the stuff that comes up in the Repairman Jack series, like you don't see it in the original one. Like, because how could it be there? So things like Ernst Drexler and the Septimus Order and Hank Thompson and the Lady and the Dog and Wheezy and Eddie and all of that stuff does not show up in the original edition. Um, and, and Wilson did an interesting thing with one of the characters, um, I think with Carol's husband. Then he just changes that storyline entirely in the the revised edition. But... If, so if you're wondering, like, what do you do? And especially if you're going online, Night World, the revised edition, I guess it's out of print because it is incredibly expensive. I'm looking on Amazon right now and the hardcover is $49.99. And I'm assuming that's because that's not coming directly from the publisher anymore. It's that they had their original print run and then whatever's left is, is now just priced incredibly high because this book was never meant to be $49.99. I'm not sure. The cover price is $25.99. And then even the paperbacks are expensive, but be careful with that. Um, it looks like you can get the trade paperback for $16.99 right now. 
but then the mass market paperback i guess the revised edition never came out in the mass market size and if you're wondering it's like the difference is this is a trade paperback and this is a like the smaller one is a mass market and then the bigger one is a trade paperback so that's the difference but if you're wondering if you are reading through the series for the first time and you're like which one do i get well if you've read the repairman jack series you really really want to read the revised edition you do um i have been trying to save as much money as i can and in case you can't tell i do buy a lot of books but i do have to set the set a line somewhere and when i saw the prices for it i was just like i can't spend that much so i ultimately got mine from the library i had to do an interlibrary loan to get the revised edition but i do own the mass market paperback because i was able to get that for just a few dollars online so i wanted to have both of them eventually i'll get the revised edition but it is really fun if you have not read night world before it's it's not exactly in the style of a repairman jack book it's more of an adversary cycle book but even the adversary cycle it's not really exactly in that style either that he's combining all kinds of different groups that you see in all of the adversary cycle he's bringing those characters together you've also got jack and some characters that we meet in the repairman jack series that we get all of that in the revised edition the the book is so compelling you want to get to the end as fast as possible because this is where everything has been leading so if basically if you've read the first 16 books in the repairman jack series or the five books or so in the adversary cycle everything gets confusing because now we've got signals so now i don't even know how many books are in the adversary cycle um, but if you've been reading all of these books and then you're now at night world like you're gonna have fun you're gonna love it if you've never read a repairman jack book before or an adversary cycle book before i would say you'd actually probably be okay reading night world and you might want to then go back and read everything else but as strange as it may say you would probably do okay reading this even as a standalone and it's not the worst book to read as a standalone compared like if you're thinking about the entire adversary cycle or all of the repairman jack books um you get like this is the most epic is what i'm saying and it is still fairly accessible even if you haven't read those other books you'll be able to follow along fairly well and, and read this on its own i don't know how many people would do that but i'm saying if you have friends or if you you know are, are you know coming across this video and you're just randomly thinking about reading a book in the series then i would say you'd be okay you certainly can't do that with a fantasy series like you can't get to like book 15 in a fantasy series and then just read the last one because i'm sure it would not make sense um but with this you could so anyway i've got lots of specific thoughts but i can't really get into those without spoiling some things so i'm going to save all of that for the discussion video all right thanks so much for watching i'll see you next time bye